So, <laughs> let's talk about Star Wars Chewbacca. Now, this is one of the miniseries that have uh, come out of the Marvel Star Wars line. And, yeah, um, this is another of the miniseries. There was one on Lando by Charles Scholl. There was the Mark Wade Princess Leia comic. And I'm forgetting who's doing the Han Solo comic, but that's out. And we also have the um, Poe Dameron comic, but that's now an ongoing. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, let's talk about this Chewbacca comic by Gary Duggan and artwork by F Phil Noto, I think that's the name. Anyway, so... Start, now, you may be wondering, of all the characters to get a miniseries, and keep in mind, I think the Chewbacca comic came out before the, the Han Solo comic, just to give you a perspective. But yeah, um, so yeah, the Star... Uh, so, anyway, so the Star... So th this comic, I <laughs> can't make words, um, this comic is set, of course, like a lot of the other comics, set in between New Hope and Empire, and this is a four-part miniseries, uh, five-part, excuse me, five-part miniseries focusing on um, Chewbacca finding himself on a planet where a gangster has literally taken control of a city, uh, of a whole town, and about to sell out to the Empire, and he ends up teaming up with a little girl to rescue her fa her father from a uh, from this said crime lord, as well as you know fight some Imperial soldiers. This comic is really this comic is a lot of fun because again you'd never think for one second really a whole com a whole five issue miniseries centered around the Wookiee really Chewbacca how are you going to make this work well the big thing is is that yes Chewbacca only it can only speak in Wookiee like the I can't Wookiee I can't Mozilla can't Wookiee <laughs> um. But yeah, what I like about this comic is that it focuses on Chewbacca, and it, I'm glad it does have a character in here um, with di actual dialogue for for Chewbacca to play off of. And sometimes, much like in the Darth Vader comic, um, no uh, Noto's artwork is very expressive in just Chewbacca's face, much like how Laroca La could tell uh, could tell you what Vader's thinking with just a you know just a glance or just the artwork alone. So I really do like how it plays into a com into this comic of Chewbacca, you know, just facial expressions. Even though, yeah, he does the the Wookie sounds, um, you know, the Wookie uh, the Wookie language, and we do have a character to play off of him with actual dialogue. But yeah, sometimes Wook um, Chewbacca's actions speak louder than words. And what I really like about this, this really has some great humor, and this really walks the line of humor and drama because this plays the story of. Um, Chewbacca, uh, fa more or less like he crash lands on a planet, and I love the opening scene too. After the whole when the gangster shows up to take the girl and the do the girl and her father away, Chewbacca it cuts to Chewbacca just lying in a thing of like flowers, and he's just like, oh, I crashed here, and he crashes a wing here on his way there, and on on his way to a planet he was going to. I really don't want to spoil. I mean, if you've read the comic, then you know where Chewbacca went. But if you haven't, I really don't want to spoil what Chewbacca's endgame was. Because he was out on his own mission without, you know, doing any... You know, he was out doing his own thing. And it's kind of implied that not even um, Han, Han, Luke, or Leia knew where he was going. It was a very secret thing. And I will say I wasn't expecting that to be in the comic. Um, I wasn't expecting that to be in the comic... Um, but I did like it, and again, uh, this really also shows that Chewbacca, I mean, a lot of people, Star Wars fans included, really seem to think that Chewbacca is nothing more than just a big dumb ape, you know, he's just like a big dumb gorilla Sasquatch thing, that's all a lot of people, you know, Star Wars universe and Star Wars fans seem to think that Chewbacca is sometimes just a big brute. Wrong, actually. He's actually incredible. Uh, Chewbacca is incredibly intelligent. Just because he can't speak English doesn't mean he, um, you know, he he's an idiot. It's it's very much the the opposite. That Chewbacca shows that he is a very intelligent warrior. And there's a great scene in here where Chewbacca saves the girl and her dad, um, and he just like it doesn't show you what he does to these guards, but. 
there's a moment in here where the girl's like cheering him on as she's watching Chewbacca just tear his way through all these guards and she's like yeah go Chewbacca go and it's slowly as, as you see more of like what you don't see what Chewbacca's doing to them keep in mind he doesn't have his bowcaster with him but he is just going ape on them <laughs> uh, pun, in, uh, pun not intended but Chewbacca just goes out on these people and you slowly see this girl's face slowly, slowly just change into a look of pure horror and you don't know what he's doing but it's probably really bad anyway, so Chewbacca um, Chewbacca's wrapped up in here and we do get to see what, you know, a little insight on our favorite Wookiee um, we get to see what goes on in his head um, if you guys remember Clone Wars, he was captured by the Trandoshans uh, to be like part of their hunting party, and we do get a flashback of that, and we get to see that Chewbacca does ha is still kind of reeling from that. It may have been years ago, but you have to understand, Wookies live a long time, so they have to deal with a lot of mental shit. So there, are, so Chewbacca, for as long as old as he is, you know, as old as Chewbacca is, he has to deal with a lot of stuff mentally. Um, and the only thing that's been keeping him going is usually just Han and the and the rebellion. So, yeah, Chewbacca is, um, it's very cool, uh, um, it's a, <laughs> I, this is gonna sound really weird, but this comic is a great character study for Chewbacca. There's something I thought I would never say. Great character study for Chewbacca. <laughs> um, anyway, so we follow Chewie throughout this comic, and he fights, you know, um, gangsters. Um, the gangster in question is known as Jaim. Is, jo is Jam or jo Jum? I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, he is this um, gangster who is selling out this planet to the Empire, and the Empire wants these... Uh, he sends basically every everyone who, who pisses him off to this little mining facility that instead of mining ore, they're mining these uh, larvae who have special chemicals that the Empire wants from them. So he's selling out to these. Um, he's selling out the mines. He's selling out pl people. This whole planet that he kind of has a corner in to the Empire, so he can get rich and live the re you know live off uh, live on the rest of his life in you know stupid uh, gangster luxury. So of course, there the our favorite Wookiee is kind of uh, getting in the way of his whole retirement plan. But yeah. So the story, um, this is a really cool comic. I think that, you know, there's some great moments here. There's some, Gary Duggan, of course, he does, he did a, I think he's still writing Deadpool. So yeah, I think he's still writing Deadpool. And there's some great, uh, moments of humor in here. Um, like there's one moment where Chewbacca is like carrying a, pro uh, like an astromech droid. No, a gonk droid, that's right, a gonk droid. And he's trying to lead the girl and her father out of the, uh, the mines. And he runs into a guy with a blaster. He's the guy's like, huh. Didn't you ever hear, don't bring a droid to a blaster fight? And Chewbacca just grabs the gonk droid and starts bashing the guy. Oh, that was great. The girl in question is pretty good. I think I really liked her. Um, she is a lot of fun and a nice little foil for Chewbacca to play off of. Because she doesn't understand Chewbacca, even though he's willing to help. But she thinks that he's some dumb brute. That's what I really like about this, is that we have, unlike, um, you know, unlike... Uh, Han, who understands Chewbacca, you know, who understands Chewie, this girl doesn't understand a damn word uh, he says. So I find, I really do like that, even though Chewie's like, oh, at first he's like, oh, I don't want to do this, I got a job to do. But then eventually he does get into it. Um, yeah, once again, this is a nice little Marvel miniseries, uh, Marvel Star Wars miniseries. Um, I, I really enjoyed this. Um, it was a lot of fun. I'm really curious now. I've heard mixed things about the Leia comic, but I've heard nothing but really good things about the um, the comic series about Lando. So I really want to pick up the uh, the Lando miniseries, and uh, because it's supposed to tell the story of how Lando got into the mining operation, I think if I've heard right. But yeah, that's the one I'm really interested in in terms of Star Wars miniseries. Um, but yeah. So there you go, guys. I hi if you love Chewbacca, you know if you if you love our if you love everyone's favorite Wookie, I highly recommend this comic. But once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.